Hello, my friends. I'm showing you different levels of pencils. So these are pencils that I have in my home. The, this, these two are from the Blick uh, Pencils, which is a store located also in Tampa. Um, and if you notice, the HB um, coloring is like this. The 4B is darker. Then I have the Derwent um, Graphic Soft Pencils. And don't have the whole set, so I have a couple of them, so I'm, so I'm retesting them here. So if you notice, the HB is like this, and as you go up the numbers up to the 7B, it's very, very dark, so it's great for shadows. The F1, not so great. It's very similar to like the standard Office Depot, which you get in school, which is like this one here. And then this one is the the regular Dixon one, which is pretty dark, pretty nice for being a standard pencil. Um, and then we have, where's my, where did it go? Okay, so then this is the Ticonderoga a pencil, 2HB. It's pretty light, it's not that dark. I've used this in the class um, and it's okay. And it's, it's good because if you need to erase, it's quick to erase. Now this is pretty dark, so probably erasing will be a little difficult, but, your shadows will be really nice. All right, so let's let's test them out. Let's open up my notebook here, and we are going to draw a star strawberry. And I'm going to use a standard uh, number two pencil, which we have in the classroom. So the strawberry is a shape almost of a heart, almost a heart. Does it have the dent on the top? But the bottom is. A curve okay and then we have the leaves from here and if you notice I am drawing very lightly using a light pencil so if I have to erase it's going to be easier or a student wants to erase uh, in their homes or in class it's easier and it's strawberry season right now. So I'm going to do the stem. The stem is not too thick. You can add another leaf if you want to. Right over here. Okay, you see that? Okay, so I can clean it out. If I need to clean out the edges. Clean out the edges a bit. Right there, okay. All right, now the little seeds those little things that you see on the strawberries are actually seeds you can even take part of the middle top of a strawberry and plant the seeds all right you see that okay all right so this is your standard pencil now we're going to see what happens when I start grabbing. Let's see, do the 5B one. So let's look for the 5B one, which is a little bit darker. So I am going to, ooh, it is darker. I'm going to go over the shape of my strawberry. And we are in spring break now. So I have time to do videos. I know I haven't been online for a while. Um, okay. All right. So we're going to go over these lines. Nice. Pretty nice. Again, the number is 5B. Now, it doesn't have to be this brand. It could be another brand. Um, but you know now that the 5B is a bit darker. Will be probably harder to erase, but the impression if you don't have a permanent marker, I like it, I like it. <clears throat> All right, so if we're going to add some shadows in here, let's see how this goes. We're going to add some shadows. I am just hatching. I am not cross hatching as of yet. I'm going to see how this looks like first. All right, and someone is probably cutting the grass out there. All right, let's see. I'm going to go around. 
You can go over it if you want to. Let's go over it just to see. That way you see a little bit more hatching. I am not pressing as hard as you noticed. I am not pressing hard. All right, I am going to now cross hatch, go over. If you notice under it, um, you see some lines coming out. It's because I had a drawing under that. That's okay. It's okay. All right. I'm going to add not a shadow, but a little bit on the side here. Okay, and then my leaves. I'm going to go under my leaves. Under. Now you can blend this um, with a blending tool, which actually I don't have at home. I think I have one in the class. Um, but you can use a cotton ball. Some kids use their fingers. Just don't use their fingers because then your fingers get dirty and you, and you dirty your artwork. If you're drying for a long time, it's good to put a little bit of talc on the side, like baby powder. Um, that way your hand is not smudging it. I'm not doing that right now because I'm um, just doing this demo right here. But you see how I'm adding the shadows here? Now this is the 5B. We're, we are going to try the 7 one in a moment. I'm going to just give it a little color in here. And this takes practice, my friends. If I don't draw for intensely for a couple of weeks i have to like practice again it's like riding a bike you get to do it again you you can keep going but you have to practice mm -hmm. yep i went out of the lines it's okay i can still clean that up keep cleaning that out and sometimes this thing moves on the top, I've noticed. Yes, I have a different stand. I have multiple stands, so I test different stands. This one, I attach my phone to this object. Right there. I'm going to make it softer now. And you can blend this. All right, so let's let's try the higher one to see what happens. All right, 7B. 7B. Boomba. This is dark. Dark, dark, dark. But it's, it's nicely done. Nicely, nicely. All right, let's add. Let's cross over my shadows. You can even make it dark, make those seeds on the side, right there, right there. And then I'm going to try to speed up my drawing here. Let's see, let's see. I'm not going to make it too dark on that side. Mm -mm. No, no, no. All right, let's add a little bit of shadow. Pretend it's on a table on a flat surface. And let's add a shadow down there. Well, of course, um, if you're left-handed, you're going to have your left hand holding the pencil. But remember, it's in an angle. That way you work better. Plus, your point lasts longer. Yep. If you work on an angle, your point lasts longer. That goes not only for... Pencils, color pencils, and also for crayons or even oil pastels, you have to hold it on the side. Let's put a shadow under here. Blend that in. Yes. Yes, 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 and yes, yes, yes. In the middle, a little darker. On the sides, darker. Should have put lighter in there, that side. Let's, let's clean it up a little bit. Let's see how cleaning goes. 
Hmm, it is a little hard. This is a seven. See that? It's a little harder to clean. A little harder to clean. So now you know. Do you want to start with a light pencil? And then move on to your darker ones. All right, that's a little more. And then voila, we're done. Believe me, you can move on and do more and do more. Yep, I'm making that clear. All right, I want to go back to the three. Three is a little softer. You see that? It's lighter. It's a little lighter. It's a little lighter. It's a little lighter. I'm going to make this, this edge crisp. Crisp, crisp, crisp. The darkest was a seven. This is a three. A three, a three, a three. All right. Check it out. Let's put a little shadow there. And our strawberry is almost done. Thank you for watching. Adios.